Hello, Pocket Trainer, and welcome to Mini Pokemart. In today's episode, I have something very, very special to share. We are actually going to be opening our PSA return, and this return is super, super special because we are going to be looking at uh, promotional cards that were around the Munch Scream Art Exhibition in Japan. These promotional cards come in five different Pokemon, and the art is just outstanding. So um, I'll be opening this PSA box, and uh, I haven't seen the grades, and hopefully we'll get uh, amazing grades from 10 to 9s. And uh, if we do, I will be very, very excited, and we'll be able to actually take a look at the cards, uh, analyze them, and I will tell a little bit more about why those cards are that way. Uh, so without further ado, let's just get started. And if it's your first time tuning in at Mini, Copper, Mini Pokemart, welcome. And uh, thank you for joining this amazing community. Thank you for joining our family here at Mini Pokemon. And if you are already a Mini Pokemon member, thank you as well for coming back to your Mini Pokemon. Uh, for everyone out there that are unaware, Mini Pokemon is a small uh, online store. I, I see it as a hobby shop. Um, it's the, it's, we're trying to have the biggest Pokemon hobby shop in the world and uh, we're getting there our awesome community of Facebook on Facebook it's around 10,000 plus members already so um, if you haven't checked it out feel free to check it out so as I said I haven't I haven't actually seen the grades and uh, I'll be opening one by one and we'll see what we get I didn't I don't even know which one is the first one so uh, here we go first card coming fresh from PSA and it's the Psyduck, and we got a Mint 9. So, as so you can tell, the art on these cards is just awesome, I love them. Um, this is the first card of the set, is uh, Psyduck, and uh, we have the little uh, Gengar and Hunter behind, <laughs> behind Psyduck making that scream. Um, it is a beautiful card, let me do a little close-up so you can see the art. And, uh, this, these cards were given away, or were, you, you could buy them in the Munch exhibition um, that they had in Japan. So they had the, the actual uh, Munch Scream art, piece of art, and uh, you could go and see it, and uh, you could also buy these ones. Uh, so I'm assuming the next one will be the other Psyduck. Uh, in this case we have a 10! Awesome! There we go. Uh, Gem Mint 10, Psyduck. Great promotional card. Let's keep going. Another Psyduck, probably, and this time is a nine. A nine. I'm not really sure why nine or ten. I will need to look more into the card itself to figure out why that grade was given. But regardless, nine is an awesome one. So I sent three of each. So the next one will be a new one. In this case, is Eevee. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at that, Gen Mint 9, unfortunately not a 10, I will have loved a 10, but I cannot complain for a 9. And um, the difference between this one and the Psyduck is that, in this case, now Psyduck is behind, instead of Hunter and Gengar. Now, another thing that it's uh, uh, worth noting is that the artists in the cards are different. So the first uh, Psyduck card was uh, Tamakasu Komiya, while the EV one is uh, Atsuko Nishida. So, uh, every single one of them has a different artist, so you will see some variation in terms of the style. And uh, I really love Eevee, and I love this card as well, so who, who will not like Eevee? And you will see the same pattern in terms of what you see behind. The next Pokemon that we will be showing will have Eevee behind, behind that Pokemon. And we have a 10! Awesome! There we go, we got a Gem Mint 10 in this case, and this is awesome. This is great. I love when we get 10s. The next one, another 9, unfortunately not a 10, um, but 9 is also good, very good. And for people that are unfamiliar, what is the difference between the 9 and a 10? 10, does, 10 doesn't have any type of problem, while a 9 has something, like from a small off-center, to maybe a tiny scratch or a tiny whitening in some part of the card 
something like that something that is barely visible it might be a stain that it's very little but there's a stain um, and that can create like uh, 10 from a 9 something that it's not affecting the appeal of the visual appeal of the card but it, um, but it has something well a 10 is perfect so it shouldn't have any problems so next one is our awesome Rowlet I love it too <clears throat> so in this case we don't have the one that is right after Eevee uh, this comes after Mimikyu and you will see Mimikyu is my favorite one of all and uh, you will see but we got a 10 on Rowlet and there's Mimikyu behind him um, <clears throat> that is really cool look at that yeah if, if you like it let me know by the end of this video which one was your favorite one we got another 10 look at this two tens Rowlet that is great love it let's see if we can get a third one in this case it's another Rowlet another 10 look at that three tens that is awesome that is awesome <laughs> Rowlet screaming alright the next one is Pikachu so Pikachu is the one that goes after Eevee because we have the Eevee behind it as you can see and uh, I love the Pikachu card as well look at that this is a gem mint 9 unfortunately not a 10 but very beautiful look at that another Pikachu gem mint 10 great so we got a 10 in here and um, I love it the Eevee behind as I said and all all the same reflect all, all of the cards reflect the same uh, kind of art style of course but again it's different different oh, for an artist oh my god drop it right there um, there should be another Pikachu another 10 awesome stuff there we go so excited I love to get tens <laughs> love to get tens and all of this uh, some of these cards, not all of them, but some of these cards will be available to purchase them at minipokemart.com. So if you haven't checked out uh, minipokemart.com, you should go and check it out. We have cards, we have um, games, and we also have toys. We have Game Boy consoles, we have the red and blue, we have uh, the latest sets of cards from Pokemon, Pokemon Lost Thunder, Pokemon Team Up. Uh, and we have plenty of things in there, so make sure to check it out. So what do we have here? Mimikyu Gem Min 10. Look at this awesome card. This is my favorite card of all of them. And it is actually the most difficult one to get. Um, so the Mimikyu one was given away in a binder in the Pokemon Center, but it was limited to just one per person, per account. So you couldn't get more than one. You will make a... Uh, you will register online, go and get it, and you will not be able to get more than one. So it was very hard to get, it was the most difficult one. Everyone thought that the Pikachu will be the most hard, but in the end it was actually Mimikyu. Oh, this is painful, we have a gem, a mint 8. It's not a 9, not a 10, we got an 8. And I'm wondering why we got an 8 on this one. It looks pretty clean, so I will need to, oh. I think I uh, we see some scratches on the back here, so maybe that's why. Very tiny, tiny scratches. It probably the, the camera will not pick them up, but maybe you can see it here, right there, right there. Some tiny whitening there. That might have been the reason why this crate got an eight, because this, yeah, this border is a little bit rough. Uh, anyway, it's a beautiful card, and have them encapsulated makes them great so that was an 8 and the last MQ we got a 10 so two tens one eight I cannot complain that is awesome so very beautiful cards let me put the sets the complete set here so you can see it uh, I'll put it right there um, and uh, you'll see the different different cards uh, in the order that they are supposed to go um, they're beautiful cards, I really love them, and I love promotional cards in Japan, they are just fantastic, um, and I think this 2019 are going to be, it's going to be an awesome year for promotional cards as well, <coughs> in Japan, so, um, so yeah, 
Anyway, that's the full set. Yeah, as I said, I'm going to move the camera a little bit just to center it a little bit more. But it is a beautiful set. I love it. And uh, we'll have some of them available at minipokemart.com as a full set. Um, so make sure to check out next week when we will have them available in our store. Um, anyway, that's this PSA opening. If you really like it, let me know. I will probably be doing more and, uh, and opening also cards and doing videos around that topic as well. Um, anyway. That's everything for today, hope you like it, and if you have any questions around these cards or, or you have any other type of questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section, and uh, until next time, trainers, remember, gotta catch them all. Thank you. <laughs>